Hey guys, what's up? Hope you guys are doing well. Coming to you guys with another video. And today I'm going to be giving you a recap of what I picked up at this weekend's TriStar show. So, had a lot of fun going through dime, quarter, 50 cent, and dollar boxes. So I picked up quite a few cards, so this video is going to be pretty long. But I'll try to get through it as quickly as possible. So, get right into it. Um, this guy or the seller gave me this for free, but it's from 2013 Tops Allen and Ginter, Wonders of the World, Grand Canyon. So, kind of like oversized cards like this. These are one of the box toppers from that year. So, that's nice. Um, I'll get on into some, just a few cards I picked up for some base and insert pieces I have going. So. From 2014 tops, this is the 2013 AL batting average leaders with Mike Trout on it. 2015 tops, 2014 AL RBI leaders. Uh, Mike Trout salute from 2018. Derek Jeter from 2005 Donruss. Derek Jeter 2006 upper deck. Clayton Kershaw, 2018. Tops 2017 league leaders for wins. This is the gold out of 2018. Ryan Dozier, Panini Prism Prism. Paul Goldschmidt, MLB debut. Heart of the Order. And also this blue Tops Fire. So some cheap pickups that I'd figure I'd take advantage of for those small PCs, but get on into some cards I thought that were kind of cool so I just picked them up they were cheap too so I think these are the top stick-ons from Topps Heritage 2012 so got Albert Pujols and Mariano Rivera it's Barry Bonds Metal Universe Magnetic Field Vladimir Guerrero Power Brokers Jim Edmonds, Late Bloomers, Michael Kopech Blue out of 150, Scott Rowland Greatest Hits from Leaf Rookies and Stars out of 2500, Roy Halliday, SP Authentic Superstar Flashback out of 2003, Jim Tomey, Long Ball Leaders from Donruss out of 1500. Ichiro, an international affair from Topps Chrome Update. Will Myers, 2013 Topps Chrome, 1972 Topps Refractor. AJ Puck, Purple Refractor out of 250. BJ Upton, 2012 Topps Chrome Sepia out of 75. Trevor May, 2015 Topps Chrome Purple Rookie out of 250. Malik Smith, 2016 Topps Prism Refractor. Topps Chrome, anyway. Tulo, Purple Refractor from 2017 Topps Chrome out of 299. A Jose Ramirez, Green Wave Refractor from 2018 Topps Chrome out of 99. And this 2013 Topps Finest Green Refractor of Mariano Rivera out of 199. So those were all pretty cheap. So pick those up. Next, I'll get on into some cards from, for some sets I'm trying to finish up. 2016 Topps Gypsy Queen Orlando Cepeda short print. Anthony, Anthony Rizzo, best performers from 2018 Bowman's Best. We got six of these Topps Heritage 1967 discs. I believe they're called. These were all 50 cents each. Andrew McCutcheon, Buster Posey, Clayton Kershaw, Madison Bumgarner, Miguel Cabrera, and Stephen Piscotti. And then a bunch of these Stadium Club inserts that I really like. So from 2014, this is the Luminescent of Masahiro Tanaka. So the difference between luminescent and luminescent is that the luminescent has a little bit of shine to it. You can pick that up, or if the camera's picking that up. 
got a 2015 Luminescent of Jose Abreu. And then the rest of these are from 2016 Top Stadium Club. Got a, quite a few Luminous inserts. Mad Bum. I paid 50 cents each for these, so if you see a sticker price, just ignore it. Lorenzo Kane. No Cindergard. Mike Trout definitely did not pay $12 for that. Josh Donaldson. Bryce Harper. Zach Greinke. And Adrian Beltre. And then I got a Luminescent of Noah Syndergaard. And then three of these Legends die cuts of Robin Yount, Whitey Ford, and Ozzie Smith. So those are nice, but I have those off the list. I'll get on into some rookies now. So this guy's been having a really good year, but he plays in a small market even though the team's doing really well. So he doesn't get that much love. Um... But I've got him in fantasy baseball, and he's done really well for me as like the opener, or not the opener, but the bulk reliever, and then also as a starter when he started. So I got 10 of these 2018 Tops Update rookies of Yanni Chirinos. Like I said, he's been pitching really well for the Rays lately. Um, I think he shut out the Red Sox over eight innings in his last start, so that was pretty impressive. Andrew Benintendi, 2017 Tops Update Rookie Debut Rookie. I got these two for $0.10 cents each. Madison Bumgarner, 2010 Bowman Platinum Rookies. So pick those up because I figure he'll get traded soon or sign with another team. Sorry to the Giants fans out there, but um, Jimmy Rollins, another $0.10 cent pickup. I hear a lot of people say they think he's going to be in the Hall of Fame, so I went ahead and picked that up. Omar Vizquel, upper deck rookie. We got four Randy Johnson rookies. Don Russ. A couple Fleer. And a Tops Traded. And then this guy, I think, will be in the Hall of Fame either this year or coming up this election or the election after that. But we got five of these Kurt Schilling rookies. 90 score. And four of his 89 Donruss rookies, so figure I'll hold on to those until he gets the call, or I don't know, maybe sell them now, I'm not sure, but then I got these three cards from 2001 SP Authentic, but they're all of Ichiro, so I got two of cards with Tomo Oka on the back, I'm not sure if you guys remember him and then the other one I got was with Ichiro and Masato Yoshi on the back so that or these aren't his like most sought after SP authentic rookies I believe it's just the one with him by himself so um yeah but as soon as I saw SP authentic Ichiro I was like I'm gonna grab those just in case, but that's okay. I always like I've always liked Ichiro, so I'll hold on to those um, for now. But got a couple of these jersey cards or relic cards. This one is from 2017 Tops Tier One, Paul Goldschmidt out of 331. Interesting numbering. Um, this is a pretty cool card. Not sure what year this is from, but 2005. Looks like Donruss Zenith of Dale Murphy. Kind of a cool looking card. So figured I'd pick that up. <clears throat> a couple older cards that I picked up. Got this 80 tops Carl Yastrzemski Ale All-Star. And then a couple vintage cards here. Um, 1960 tops Harry Bright PSA 6. And this 1960 Tops Bob Oldis, also a PSA 6. So I really like the 1960 Tops, Tops design. So figured I'd get those for, I think those are like $5 each. So couldn't pass, pass those up. But um, <clears throat> And then lastly, this will probably be just as long as the first part. But I picked up a bunch of Astros cards too, including a Tops team set from 2006. So 
go through those really quickly. Lance Berkman, Adam Everett, Craig Biggio, Andy Pettit, Mike Lamb, Roger Clemens, Dan Wheeler, Willie Tavares, Humberto Quintero, Phil Garner, Charlton Jimerson rookie, Brad Lidge, Lights Out Lidge, Jason Lane, our boy Morgan Ensberg, Chris Burke, Brad Osmus, Brandon Backey, Jeff Bagwell, Roy O, and the Astros, whoops, the Astros team guard from that year, so pick that up. That was like 25 cents so <clears throat> for the whole set, so couldn't pass those up. And then, <clears throat> sorry, a um, few Astro or quite a bit of Astros for some sets that I'm trying to do, Tops and Gypsy Queen. Got a bunch of cards for those sets, but before I get into those, got this Derek Fisher Tops Chrome Update Rookie. And then I'll get into the Gypsy Queen. This is from 2014, Craig Biggio. And then a couple of Jeff Bagwells from 2016, 2016 yeah. Roger Clemens, SP. 2017, Jose Altuve. And then a bunch of cards for the top sets. So 2011, Humberto Quintero. 2012, Brett Wallace. Jose Altuve, Bud Norris, and Carlos Corporan from 2013, Brett Wallace, Chris Carter, Jason Castro from 2014, Jake Marisnik, Colin McHugh, and Jose Altuve from 2015, Evan Gaddis, Future Stars, Dallas Keuchel, All-Star Game, and Colby Rasmus from 2016, Lance McCullers, Future Stars, got two of those. A Colin Moran rookie, Doug Fister, and two Chris Davinsky rookies. And then from 2018, whoops, two Francis Martez rookies, and two Ramin Guduan and Jordan Jankowski combo rookies. And then these were pretty good buy. I thought 2019 Top Series 1 Kyle Tucker rookies for 25 cents each. So couldn't go wrong with those. A Dallas Keuchel Clubhouse Collection Relic from Topps Heritage 2018. Um, and then just some other cool Astros cards that I got. Justin Verlander Rainbow Foil 2500 Career Strikeout. Chris Carter. Purple Refractor from Topps Heritage. Some Bowman Chrome Refractors here. Nick Tropiano out of 199, 2013. Tyler Heineman, Purple out of 199. Tyler Heineman, Blue Refractor out of 250. Blue Wave Tyler Heineman. And a Kevin Chapman Refractor. Got this Roger Clemens. Blue Refractor from Top's Finest out of $2.99. Kazuo Matsui from Top's Chrome Blue Refractor out of $1.99. Wesley Wright, rookie, Blue Refractor not numbered. Billy Wagner, Gold Refractor not numbered. This is from 2004, I want to say. Yeah. And an Octavio Dotel, 2001 Top's Chrome gold refractor, or maybe just regular refractor. I'm not really familiar with the lingo from the early 2000s Topps Chrome refractors, but got a few numbered cards here as well. Lance Berkman, major factors out of 1599. Yep. Jeff Bagwell, Power Alley from 2004 Donruss out of 1000. And then just got a different parallel here out of 2500. So, got this Carlos Correa Prospect Chrome for 25 cents. George Springer, rookie debut, rookie from 2014 Tops Update. Yeah. 
Um, I think this is an SP of George Springer as well from this year's tops. So those I got pretty much all those for like twenty size twenty five cents each. So a lot of good buys and um, a lot of good deals to be had in bargain bins. So Jesus, video's at fifteen minutes. Okay, I'll have to hurry up. But um, also got this George Springer Topps Chrome Refractor rookie. I think I got that for like two dollars or two fifty. And then I got the X Fractor as well. So. He was having a really good year before he got hurt, so hopefully he can come back pretty soon because we really need him because we just lost the Orioles like four to one the other day. So um, not not a great game. So um, yeah, I got some Jose Altuve cards now. That's what I'll finish off with. Um, got this 2019 Diamond Kings Gallery of Stars. Even though Panini doesn't have the logos, they really make these inserts look pretty cool. So. I like that one. Here's middle infield marbles with Correa. Tops Heritage 2018. Got two of these Allen and Ginter from 2017. Tops High Tech. I'm not sure what parallel this is, but it's numbered out of 250. Got this for like $1.50, which I think is really good. It's a purple refractor from 2014 Tops Chrome. So nice there. An SP from 2019 Tops Series 1. Gold out of... Wow, this is... Oh, there it is. Two, out of 2012. Very, very at the top. I don't know if you can see that, but it's a gold from 2012 Tops. Purple... Or, I'm sorry, Blue Refractor from Bowman Chrome out of 250. And then the two best cards of the show... I got really good deals on these, I think. So this first one is from 2018 Topps Archives. It's a 1985 style auto of Jose Altuve. So got this for $30. The seller who had it said he hadn't sold anything all day. So he had it for 35 but I asked if he'd take 30 for it, and he said yeah. So glad to have that in the collection, especially since these are going for like 40 maybe 35 to 45 dollars on ebay so glad to get one of these i had been on one of these for a while so pick that up and then as i was leaving the show i was walking out i stopped by a vintage card table and I actually stopped for a different card i didn't see this card so after he told me the price on the first card i was like eh, i don't really want to spend that much money on that so um i asked about this card and quickly did an eBay search of recently sold, and I think a 2.5 sold for like 40, 40, 50 dollars maybe, and the last three sold for like 65 or 60. So I got this card for 50 bucks, but it's from 1934 Gaudi. It's a Bill Terry PSA, very good three. So glad to have that in the collection. There's a little stain down there in the bottom right corner so but that's okay the card really looks sharp outside of that um, really well centered and here's the back so really happy to have this in the collection this is my oldest card that I have now so glad to have this one so yeah guys sorry for the long video that was almost 20 minutes G so um, yeah, that's it for my TriStar Card Show recap. I'm not sure when I'll have another video for you guys soon. I'll maybe make a video of some pickups that have come in that I just never got around to showing over the past few months or month or so. So stay tuned for that, I guess. But until then, hope you all enjoyed and thanks for watching.